And the other thing I wanted to really show you guys is the way an impressionist would think about this, the way they'd use light rather than using line. So we're using tones, looking where the light is, rather than looking at the lines. To do this, you've got to sort of squint your eyes like that a little bit to sort of take out some of the details. And it's a little bit like um, trying to focus something. It starts off sort of blurry, and then you slowly focus it. So I will concentrate on her face. When I squint at it, I can see the light coming in from the window on that side of her face. It's sort of dark that side. But when I squint at it, I don't get any fine details, no lines at all. All I'm seeing is picking up is the light. And so that's the important thing for like your impressionist artist. So I'm going to I'm also using uh, brown paper here too. A lot of the stuff in the Renaissance, when they just sort of discovered paper, um, they were able to make paper. They didn't understand how to bleach paper, so their paper was not white. And so you look at the drawings of Leonardo and of Michelangelo, and they're using chalk, they're using black, and then they highlight it in white, and they use the background tone for what it is. So this sort of craft paper, kind of similar. As I'm sort of squinting, I'm noticing like a bit of her forehead there, looking down at the nose, a bit of a cheek here, and then her, her veil and her hair. See, I'm not using any lines at all. It's all coming down to tones. I'm doing it uh, very lightly. I don't want to go full white. I don't want to go full dark yet. So, so I'm strong bit here. Here, still no real lines, no real definition, just where I'm seeing the light and the dark hit. Okay, what does it look like? Blurry, good, it's quite smooth a little. So, as I'm looking, I'm seeing that blurry. I'm also squinting when I'm looking at here because I want to see this blurry too. I don't want to see it in full focus just yet. Okay. Can you yeah. not introduce the white to reduce the impact of the black? Or you turn it do. into a grey as a shade? You could do, that. but I'm trying to leave this as well. That's try and keep it as contrast. clean as possible. Okay. Things start getting muddy, and so if you can make it as clean as possible, you that's the ace in your back pocket if you need it, okay? But we'll try not to go there. Alright, now I'm still not going to completely focus on it, I'm just going to partially focus on it. I'm still sort of halfway between blurring it out and just seeing a little bit, so I'm not really seeing it really clearly, but I'm still sort of looking at the tones. Squint one eye. Yeah, that's it. really hard not to sort of 
throw what you think you can say. When I look, I can see that this is one of the whitest bits, and I try and make it white. See this bit here. So I start to take shape. Right, now I'm going to open my eyes. <laughs> now I'm going to throw in the details. Yeah, we'll open up that line. We need to have. did sort of touch on this last year when I was talking about different ways of starting a painting. I also touched on uh, probably going to do a full demo.
I'm sort of going into my sort of zen time here, and my relaxed time, because I've just said, you know, relax and do this for a long time. Yeah, remember you're on the clock, Bill. Yeah, I'm on the clock, <laughs> exactly. That's all right, I'm more relaxed while you're doing it too. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. Watch you all day. Oh, that's mm. nice. Yeah. Clarify that. It. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> it's just that eyebrow above the uh, left eye there, isn't it? This yeah, one? Yeah, that one there. It seems to be a Not really uh, from it. here. It looks sharp. Right from where you are, from where I am, I'm not really seeing a lot yep. of shading here. Mm -hmm. Take shape. So now I'm sort of looking at all those little tiny bits of shade here and there. All the micro shading that you sort of miss when you got your eyes splintered. So it's interesting, this is probably the only form of drawing where you actually reduce the amount of information you get when you're first looking, but say you're looking past something to see something else. Very happy with it. No. And it's slightly turned up in the cheeks, isn't it? Yeah, probably. You know, that sort of round the mouth there, just giving it a bit of a smirk rather than a scorn. Is that okay? Amazing. Yeah. Is that okay then?